you got to choose between gold or green, would you skip the gold for the green color? Never. Oh, and I'm not even saying that because I'm gold. Genuinely, I love gold. I I've, I've gotten that question before. Like even if like from our cast, if I could choose another color, I'd still stick with gold. Honestly, I love my storyline. I love that I'm not a ranger at the beginning. I love that I become the ranger. Mm -hmm. um, also, just my character. I think Nate's super cool. He honestly is like I don't know. Like everything's his fault. Like the whole show, honestly, the whole series is because of Nate. Like he made the Rangers. He made himself into a Ranger. Like name someone more iconic, right? Um, he developed more effects, all the weapons, everything. Um, so yeah, I, I'm really happy with my character. Okay, I rest my case. <laughs> no, I love you. That's good. Cool. Uh, my question's for all of you. Um, when you first got the job in the show, did you do any research on your sensei counterparts? And if so, did you try to incorporate some of that into your character, or did you want it to make your character completely your own? Um, I think for me, I kind of saw like little clips here and there, and there it was kind of like the same thing. How they say it's more time, they say it's let's morph it. Yes, sir. Yeah, so um, I think I didn't really watch it too much just because I did want it to make this character my own. And didn't want it to be like a gimmick of that um, amazing counterpart. So I think for me, I just wanted to kind of give it my own flavor. Um, so I did watch the show a little bit. More so during filming than before filming. I was more so watching like Ninja Steel and RPM and those stuff. Um, those shows. Um, I thoroughly love the character, but I've made it a mission to kind of make a distinction between. I can't. I can't think of the actor's name. Uh, Japanese actor's name. Uh, but he was so cool in Goldbusters, and not to say Devin wasn't cool, but I was like, oh no, there's no way I'm gonna be able to rock to like compete with this guy. He he's just he hops on his bike with like with style, man. Leather leather you know Sentai jackets all the time. He wears shades. You guys, if y'all ever go to episode like, six, episode six, and there's like this one scene, and I don't know why they use that song, but they just have this very, you guys might have seen it, there's just this one scene where I hop on the bike and I'm yeah. fully morphed, right? Yeah. And very oh, apparently, no, just a, <laughs> great. So let's, let's like, let's petition to make sure that it happen again. You know, let's, let's help Russell and those guys out. <laughs> we need stunt doubles who are the right side. <laughs> Suspension of belief there for a while, right? That's the power users, right? <laughs> the kids notice those things. <laughs> oh, yeah, a lot of, t well, not a lot, but like a few times um, during our table reads, sometimes if there was like a very specific scene um, that they wanted us to understand a little more, they would show us clips um, from the original. Um, so we got to see it from that, and then I think on our own, we like all kind of like watched it here and there. Um, but I specifically didn't really, like Jess said, um, follow anything from my counterpart. I just wanted it to be like my own. So yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think I have one. So, <laughs> so, so it's a free reign for me. So I just went up, did my thing. Um, I did, however, know that they added like two like parody rangers, which was like green and orange, right? I believe. And so I, I was talking to Christina, and I was like, man, what are, what are the odds? Like, no, but yeah, like, what are the odds? <laughs> and then uh, I know you guys are very, like, yeah, they're, they're definitely green. They're green, purple, green, orange. And so, yeah, and I was like, oh, yeah. I started believing it. I was like, yeah, this is happening. Right? <laughs> like, hey, Chad, we're doing this. It's like, <laughs> I was like, let's go into my office. <laughs> so we never knew like what was coming. So like that could have very well like happened. Yeah, yeah. Like we, we only knew, yeah. Happened, so we, never knew. we never knew like our overall whatever character arcs or anything. So my first question though for you, since I mean you for the first time, how was it like as your character been ending up the same way like Bulk and Skull did, like <laughs> stuffing smelt on you and everything affects. I mean, it, it was fun. <laughs> um, don't get me wrong, there were days where it was like, man, you really have to get covered this up somehow. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, that, it's slime. I'm like, no, I know what it is. Um, <laughs> I was like, do I have to get covered in it? It's like, yeah, you know, they're going to love it. I'm like, are you sure? Like, <laughs> really? Um, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, one of the great things about my character not having a counterpart was, was free reign and 
Christina is also just so great to work with. Our chemistry was really like brother and sister on and off set, fighting, laughing, joking, crying, you name it. Um, so me and her working together was great. And then you know Chip would come in and chime in. He's like, hey guys, why don't you go and try it like this? I'm like, all right, Chip. Um, so yeah, it was, <laughs> and then completely not do it the way he wanted. He just did it differently. <laughs> but um, um, but it was uh, it was great. Overall, it was a fun time. All the great guests we got to do. Um, when I look back at it now, it was like one of those things. Like I'm glad I got to do it because you know not many people can. So very fun. And for now, the Rangers. Now that Dino Fury's on, and I Woo! for Rangers spoilers. I'm not trying to spoil it, but I heard C Commander Shaw is going to return. So I'm wondering, will you guys probably return? Meaning the next di Dino Ranger team, like deal with the previous three ones. We have no idea. No clue. We're always no comment. The actors are always the last. No. If it wasn't for COVID, I think we would have gotten invited back. I'd see you. We all have to see you again. That's it. This is work. My name is Terry. Um, I actually, before I ask my question, I do want to say thank you guys so much for introducing me back into this crazy world that I've been away from for about 10 years. I have not watched Power Rangers for about 10 years, and then I saw you guys and was like, well, why not? Let's give it a try. Woo! And yeah. see how, and see how it goes. All the back. And you guys really got me into the story, and I wanted to say thank you as a return for that. I really appreciate that. You are that. most welcome. And, yeah, thank you for your support. And for your, my question is for our fearless leader. Um, how yes. was it portraying? <laughs> how was it portraying um the storyline with your Red Ranger? How his dynamic with his father was going throughout the season, especially with how he didn't understand like what was going on behind the scenes, and I was screaming at the TV the entire time, being like. Tell him! Please, yeah, yeah. tell him! Uh, how was it actually just portraying that kind of storyline for a ranger? Well, it was challenging. Um, but you know, you first you have to think about, am I going to have this chemistry with the other actors? So Kevin, who was an amazing guy, um, it's totally could gel, very charismatic, so it was easy just kind of gelling up and meshing with him. I mean, it's one of those things where you don't, you want to kind of straddle the fence in a sense. And I try to think of Devin as like the balance. Um, he was the balance his, for his teammates between kind of red, I mean, between yellow and blue in a sense. But he was searching for balance in his life, uh, work life balance, which I think we all kind of go through day by day to day. Um, so he's trying to not disappoint his father, but at the same time, he's trying to do something he believes is right. And at the end of the day, he went with that choice of what he believed was right, and I think that ended up being the right choice. Um, the complexities of a relationship are, I think that's kind of the fun of it as an actor to kind of experiment with. And I think me and Kevin played with our relationship on camera. Um, he was hard on me, man. He's like, oh, you know, well, I can do, I can be great. Absolutely. My dad would let me be great. Especially from a family like mine, I, I could completely understand where he was coming from being like, I need you to do this much better. And it's like, but I am. You just can't see. You just see don't know it. it. You just have no idea. Oh, it felt no good when I finally could tell him what I did tell him, what everything, what I was. And it's one of those things I think people should take away from. Communication is key. Sometimes if you just share, you find that the results are not as bad as you probably think in your mind. So, don't be afraid to open up the talk. Yes. That's good advice. Yeah. Thank you. No doubt. Thank you. And what's your name? Gabriel. It's Gabriel. So nice you Gabriel. Gabriel. My question to you guys is, what's one thing you would pass on to the future generations of people playing Power Rangers? Oh. Good question. I like that. Don't do it for the future. I think, um... <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, we did talk to them before they went to New Zealand, and my number one thing for them was um, to realize the country that you're in, don't be so caught up in your work, and make sure to take some time out and travel and live life, because when's the next time you're going to be in New Zealand, which they did, you know, they did travel a lot, and another thing was, um, <laughs> they did, right? Way more than we did. Way more. But um, I was like, that advice way too sick. Right, <laughs> yeah, but um, 
And another thing that I told them was to just get ready for the fandom when you guys come back. Because when you're in New Zealand, because they don't really air the show there, so there's not really any fans out there like that. But I was just told them, like, when you guys get back, just get ready for the fans, especially when they start doing conventions too. Uh, patience. Uh, patience is always nice. And not just on set, just in general, because there are going to be times where you're going to want to, you know, you're going to miss home, you're going to miss family, you're going to miss friends. You forget that you have a whole other life on the other side of the country. You're not going to be there for nine months. Um, so just trying to find ways to cope with that, whether that's hanging out with friends, which we did a lot. You know, that's why you, we're kind of forced to be a family, um, which is great because we get to know all the, the goods and bads about it. Uh, I hate it. Forced to be a family. That's why he stayed by himself, right? <laughs> you were forced. Never, never hung out with them. I hate them stuff that was going on. Um, no, but it was great, and that's why I'm glad you know I had these people because they really made the experience that much better. You all especially in time, especially in times where I wanted to you know be home or be with family or friends and stuff like that. Friends. My You're only. Friends. These are my only friends. I don't have any other friends <laughs> at all. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Um, I think I shared everything I kind of say, some advice or something at some point. Just have fun. It, it, experience life. Um, it's only, you know, you only experience this thing for this moment in time, so just take advantage. Yeah, I'd say the same. I think it's so easy when we were filming, especially since we were working so much. We only had like one day off a week, really. Um, and we're so tired from working that whole week that a lot of times you just want to like stay in and stuff. Um, so yeah, I think it's really important to just go out and take advantage um, of that. Just like what they said. Um, yeah, it's such a unique, beautiful experience. And, yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Go, go, go. Absolutely. All right, guys, here we go. My name is Noah. Hi, Noah. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Come up a little closer. I have a question for you. How, how is your character at Swordsman? So Noah is writing a script where the Power Rangers were sort of looking back from these Morphers or Mighty Morphers were looking back at what they were, uh, might look like as children between four and ten or whatever it would be the name. Good call, yeah. yeah. So what would your characters be like as kids? I think it's pretty cool with my character specifically because I think we did get like to see what he was like as a kid. We had that flashback um, with Dr. K when he was like, I don't even know, he was like, I think like six or something. Um, but we know that, I think even from just the first episode, we knew that Nate was working in Grid Battle Force since he was six years old. Um, so he really grew up at Grid Battle Force in this very professional environment, which was something that I really wanted to keep in mind when I was doing my character work when we first got there, um, was just, you know, seeing the differences and similarities between myself and my character and knowing that he didn't grow up with his parents around, he didn't grow up with any family, he grew up in a very professional environment um, since he was six, so I tried to play that professionalism in my character. Um, so yeah, I, I think that, yeah, he was in a good battle for us and I think we got a nice sense of that. Piggybacking off of that, I like to think that me and Christina also grew up on good battle for us, sure. and we took Nathan as an honorary brother. Yeah, I really grew like, Ravi, um, why am I forgetting everyone's character's name? Zoe and Devin, um, they were new to us, like Ben and Betty and me. Um, but yeah, I do like that. Me, Ben, ben Amanda Shaw, and the general, their dad, we all like grew up together, so yeah, fun. I think my character was most likely training to be a Power Ranger in the future. Yeah, I think uh, just training, uh, stickler for rules. Yeah, I probably knew you because I'm sure I would have known or I was part of the process of picking who was going to be like the Rangers, like you and I guess I was Leon and Colby, you know. So yeah, just, you know, just working out and training. Do you think they'll ever do a series with them as kids? That'd be amazing. I don't want to see an animated Power Rangers series. Right. 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 We got a good writer in the house, man. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Woo! And then, that was and then, a fun one. Yeah. Does, does he have his script, that paper that he showed me yesterday? Um, and it's on the, it is on the computer. It's in the computer? Computer. Okay, sorry. I was going to read it. Oh. 
It's all good. It's all good. For me I though, Devin, I just I think I would explore more of the rebellious side of Devin. Right. Um, you know, and we'll actually get to see how him and his dad got into their relationships. But we're gonna bring mom involved. Somebody asked me a great question. It was like, where's Devin's mom in all this? And we all got to like kind of make up our stories. A part of acting, I'd say, is you have the facts of the script. That's seventy-five percent of the given information, and another twenty-five percent is what you get to do as a you know creator. So the creative part is, I said, my mom and dad. Right. So it's sad, right? I want to explore that. Maybe my dad wasn't as rigid as he was in the beginning. Maybe we were all kind of a free-spirited family, and then when she passed away, he changed. Yeah, but where's my dad too? Yeah. Where? Still in the hat, both parents. Yeah. Air, but for one episode. <laughs> right. Parents, but... <laughs> <laughs> parents are great. His parents, his parents worked overseas. Yes, they worked overseas. <laughs> and where's Zoe's dad? Where's Zoe's dad? Only her mom is the reporter. He only shows her brother though. She has a brother. Yeah. Except for you. Right? All right, uh, Kevin has a question here. So my name is Kevin, and just like being here, it's like anyone else is being like, when I'm like watching the show of being strong, one is like for my like, generation of type, and just watching the show inspired me to like type scripts and all that stuff that I want to do and making media. And as well, I am also a script writer, and I like to put, put me like in an episode or an idea I have, and you guys just made me like in honor of meeting you guys in person for the first time. And besides that, my after my actual question, who in the cast is a prankster? Oh, uh, prankster? Yeah. I would say Jeff. I'm like the least. I'm the least prankster. I'm like serious. We all were really like very crazy set, and like guys. fun and like did stuff. Um, but I think Jazz was the most like. Yeah, joking around. He, Rory did nap a lot. Like, a lot. He'd be napping in the bathroom, wherever. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever I can, you guys like to catch him up. He, right? <laughs> yeah, he right. can fall asleep so easily. Atkinson? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smart time! <laughs> <laughs> no, it was not like that. It was more like, mmm, hungry. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't like it's But I think I was the fun one for the weekend. So I was the fun one for the weekend. So I just knock on his door every weekend. Hey, yo, uh, yo! Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, like I said, yeah. I was the one that, that didn't like want to go out and do really stuff. Like I'm chilling, dude. I'm tired. Yo, yo! Bro, bro! Yo, yo, get out here! Two k man! Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah. <laughs> He <laughs> calls me, comes to the door. Yo, bro, yo, Rory, I'm here too, man. Like, you gotta come out. You gotta come out tonight, man. Be here about an hour, man. I told me to give you 30 minutes, man. It's been two hours. <laughs> okay, then, as well, I did want to mention, um, I did mention to, to this to a friend of mine, Catherine, and how would you guys like it? I might have told this for the first time, but what do you feel like of um, me being a parent or with Down syndrome? I think that would be beautiful. I yeah. think we need that representation. Yeah. Which I really like. I think it's a movie too, the Power of the 2017 movie, the Blue Ranger was autistic. I think that was a really, really, really good thing to do. Because then, any, it's, it's true, because anyone can be a Power Ranger. There was a Blind Ranger on Jungle Fear. There was? I've never there seen There was that. a Blind The Fat Ranger of Master Fat School. Fat yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if he had Down syndrome or not, but there was a guy who, who you know gifted the Orange Ranger outfit yeah. to him before we could even give him the outfit. Um, yeah, we had to make a video of the whole cast. Oh yeah, the whole cast and um, picture of it. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Oh, yeah. So yeah, that was very unfortunate that he did not even get to see the video of the suit. You know, so but I think it'll be great. I'm sure you want to kick butt too, man. If you were Ranger, what color would you want to be? Definitely the wet one for sure. Hey! 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 Alright, How you like that, Jazz? Oh! Rory's happy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, My name's Amanda, and I'm from Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Uh-huh. Um, and 
<laughs> this time I won't do any more pickup lines. <laughs> 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 Give me your oh, oh man. line. Right, right. Yeah, I'm not that funny anymore. <laughs> Um, my question is actually for um, uh, Abe. Yes. And uh, so we know about the chemistry between Nate and Zoe. If you were to like um, add more to the storyline, what would you do? If I could add more, I would love to see them like eventually like grow up and get married and have like a yes. wedding episode. Oh. 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 Yeah, um, I think that could be cool. He's just jealous because he doesn't get that storyline. Like, he wish he had Roxy in the show. My girl was sick, bro. Right? Yeah, she, was, she wasn't there. Um, yeah, I, I think that would be cool. I think they would definitely like get married and stuff. Um, and yeah, I don't know, showing that could be cool. Yeah. <laughs> because Ooh. just to show some love for our girls. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hi guys, uh, I'm Chris. Hey uh, Chris. I, I noticed that uh, each ranger had something that they were really passionate about, uh, whether it be uh, you know creating the tech for the rangers or art or things like that. I wonder uh, what uh, outside of rangers are you individually passionate about? Working out. <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of like an artsy guy. Um, I'm getting really into like videography and that, kind of that creative process. I dance, I dance my behind off. Um, what? <laughs> Guys, I had a recent audition that I needed help with Rory with ballet dancing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was the hardest thing I did. Uh, he did it though. He did it. He was like, man, I'm not sure about this man. I'm like, hey, Jazz, you got it. Just believe in yourself. Bro. You got it. And it came out good. Show up. Show up. Show up. That's the ball. That's the ball. So, did you mean like, us, like our, ourselves or our characters? Uh, you guys personally. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know, I, I kind of feel bad. I don't really have a lot of hobbies. Uh, work all the time. Yeah, I work all, <laughs> all the time. But um, I like watching a lot of anime, so I would like to maybe um, one day create my own story. Because with anime, you're, lim you're, you're limitless. You can do whatever you want. You can make a whole universe if you wanted to. And, you know, it's drawn. Obviously, I don't have the skills to draw it, but would love to pitch it to uh, like Funimation or something or Crunchyroll. Uh, and uh, have that produce it, but yeah, that would something something down the road. I would love to, or voiceover, honestly. You did the voice. You did the voice for a Vacutron. Can we hear it, please? Rangers! Tell us any fun, uh, appropriate stories, like funny stuff we'll put together. Like, They'll be together. It's an oxymoron. Fun, appropriate stories. Oh, no, no, he literally, literally he came over and practically lived. He came over a lot. Yeah, I went over a lot to their place. Um, he was lonely. Very lonely. Um, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> bringing it in. Oh, we touched it. No, honestly, we just, it, it was literally, we always look forward to the weekend because we, we didn't enjoy it down. Yeah. And like, <laughs> We, talk about it all week. Yeah, we'd be like, all right, so what are we doing? Where are we, what are we hitting up? Um, and uh, it would literally start the same way. Saturday, we meet each other around the day in the morning, chill, kick it, play a little zombies, go 2K, get our, yeah, pretty much. Um, and then we'd get Sensational Chicken, which was this, uh, you remember that place? Uh -oh. um, we, it was just like this uh, convenience store that also sold fried chicken, but it was like so good, and we'd get it like, religiously. Um, I think that was the best fried chicken I've ever had. Yeah, it was oh. really good. Like, they, they, it always hit. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, kick it until, you know, the night comes and then unleash the beast. Hey! Unleash <laughs> yeah. the beast! Unleash the beast! The beast. The beast. <laughs> <laughs> now, there was a moment where we're sitting, um, we're not sitting, we're standing out on our balcony, uh, me, Jazz, and Cosmic. They had a really nice balcony. Ah! Uh, ninth floor, oh. penthouse suite, uh. overlooking called the Royal Blue Palace. It was great. And we're over overlooking thing. You know, I, I don't know. I'm telling a story. You, you guys remember Billy, right? Yes. yes. 
Billy. And Billy, he, Billy wouldn't start the mountain. Everybody knows I, I speak in riddles, right? Follow me. So Billy wouldn't start the mountain. And you get to say, the mountain had a voice. Right? And the mountain was talking to Billy. And, and Billy, he went inside this, this, this cave inside the mountain, which the mountain was about, right? So, you know, Billy does his thing. And the mountain, he finally makes contact with Billy. And he sounds like this, right? right? They have a little bit of dialogue. And then at the end of this dialogue, the mountain goes, all right, Billy, well, you enjoy yourself, okay? And I'm gonna enjoy myself as well. You guys remember that? Yeah, I do. That was like the funniest thing. Like, 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 like. You're there. It's, it's I know, it's inside and out. I'll tell you, 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 should I tell my story about not knowing who Austin St. John is? No. Oh. That'd, be, that'd be funny. Because, I mean, don't boo that or anything, because that could happen. Yeah. Go for yeah. It. yeah. So, I didn't do my research, and I didn't know who the original Red Ranger was. Um, and I knew he was coming for, like, the reunion. Um, but, I don't know, I just like, didn't think to, like, look him up or anything. Um, this was every day. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like, I was abused by Jazz, like, every day on set. Hey! It was this. Um, yeah, so we had all the returning cast come, and we all went to this restaurant to, like, meet everyone for the first time, and our producer was there, um, and when I got there, I got there with, like, Colby, Christina, Liana, Jackie, and everyone else was already at the restaurant sitting down, and I come in, and I meet, like, Brennan, and James, who else was there, Yoshi, I don't think Dobby got there yet, um, but yeah, so like I met all of them, and then I met um, their cash driver who was hired just to assist them, her name is Zoe, and I went up to her and like met her, and I assumed that she was also a returning cast member, um, so I like met her, and I'm like, and you are, and then she's like, oh, I'm not like a returning, like I'm not an actor, like I'm just here like assisting the returning cast, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then sitting right next to her was Austin. So I assumed that he was also like a driver or like <laughs> assisting the cast. You see the disrespect here? <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't I don't think I've never I've told Meanwhile, the story. I'm over here like just be yeah. cool, just be cool. Hey, what's up, Austin? Yeah. <laughs> and um so he's sitting right there. This guy, are you kidding? Um, we're joking, we're joking, I love him. Um, and so yeah, Austin's sitting next to her, and so I assume that he's there to assist the cast, and I introduce myself. He says, hi, I'm Austin, whatever, like, nice to meet you. And then I go, and you are. Oh. I literally said that to him. And you are, like, what are you doing with the cast, you know? And then he goes, I'm the original Red Ranger. And I was like, Oh, and my heart dropped. <laughs> like, this is my first time meeting him. I'm going to work with him all week now, and he hates me. Like, I blew it. Like, that's it. Like, now it's going to be a horrible time filming. Um, and immediately I was like, oh my god, like, I'm gold. Like, so nice to meet you. Like, trying to make up for it. Um, and then I walked back, and I sat next to Colby, and I was like, yeah, he hates me. Like, I just <laughs> um, But no, he's great. Um, we work together. We went on hikes together. He came to dinner with us. He's an amazing, amazing, genuine person. Um, one of the best people I've worked with. Love him. But yeah, now I definitely obviously know who he is. <laughs> well, you guys want to hear a story about how I almost, how I almost got fired? But we're out of time. Oh, we're, out of time. Yes. we're out of time. That's why I got to go. Tell it quick. Tell it quick. We gotta wait, here's a 12.5. Okay, one last story. We can do it. Sure. <laughs> I'll tell it the best. I'll tell it real quick. So it was like one of our first two weeks uh, in New Zealand, and they were very, very strict about what we could talk about, what we couldn't talk about. Um, in post. Um, and uh, Jazz, Jazz worried, and Jackie were already released, so they, didn't, you know, they were able to like, post stuff in New Zealand. But they made it, they're like, guys, just don't post a lot, please. We don't want to have this conversation. And then. <laughs> Because I remember, uh, I think we don't have to post a picture, 
and we all kind of like got freaked and we're like, dude, you know, Dick should have posted that. And then it was at our Jazz, show Jazz posted yeah. the picture. But Jazz posted a picture on Snapchat first. Uh, and then so we got called into Chip's office and we were like, we already knew what was going down. Like somebody was going to get in trouble. I knew I wasn't, so I was just like giddy. I was like, <laughs> it was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was gonna get it. It's gonna get it. <laughs> so, so we took a picture. We're in the stunt. We're we're working with the stunt teams, and pretty much, you know, you can see some people in the background of the picture. It was literally like in the far back. back. Yeah. He puts it. In, he put it on Snapchat. I saw it first. Like Jazz, uh -huh. you, you know, you did this. Da, 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 da. He takes it off, but they already had it, right? So we go into to the gym that oh, day. I think we knew. Oh yes. They're going to the yes. gym, so they told us, you know, you know, something's about to go down. Somebody posted something. So we're all wondering. No, like we get to our, we go to the gym every single day for three weeks. We get there, and our line producer is just sitting there waiting for us. Never. And we didn't know anything yet, so we just walk in and see her, and we all like, I think we were like, oh shit, something happened. So jazz. I kind of tell jazz, yo, bro. So we get called in the chip's office. The chip, you know, he's very serious. He's the coolest guy ever, but he's serious. Wait, 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 important details. When we get there, our line producer tells us like, hey, when you guys finish, like you're gonna go back to the studio and Chip wants to like meet with you. She didn't say, she said someone posted something and that was it, it was so vague. So the entire time, everyone was like, who posted it? We're talking about like, was it this post? Was it that post? Everyone like is so worried for their lives. Not like, me. who posted Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, knew for, I never post, so I'm like, I knew for a fact yeah, I did not. You. So then, you know, we're sitting in the office, and Chip, you know, he pitched us a little pitch. Like, somebody did this, we have evidence, we know who you are, so go ahead and just, just say yourself. If anybody, if anybody has anything to say, go ahead and speak now. We're a team. Nobody says that. <laughs> There's only two people who really know. It's me and Jack. No. No, no, I thought it was Liana. I really thought like oh, oh. Liana's gonna get it, and I was like, me and, so, and my uncle were like, <laughs> right. <laughs> and so Chip, gonna be. Chip puts it up on the big screen. Literally puts it on the. Puts the picture up. All right, and let's just scroll down this name, see who it is. Big Crown Jazz. Oh. Hey, that, oh, you should have seen his face. It was literally. <laughs> it was. He was just like. <laughs> and I'm only here just like You got it so confused like, As if you didn't know you posted <laughs> We can laugh about it now But yeah, you know, I have to buy it like, 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 show. That's what matters, right? You, you got to stay if you want to pull this blue ring Guys, please, please give it up for the cast. Oh,